you guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. Welcome back, welcome back. So apparently I've been talking to myself and, and that's not unusual because when you make a YouTube video, that's what you're doing, you're talking to yourself. But I turned on the camera and then it wasn't recording. I looked up, I had done these two stencils and it didn't matter. It's like it didn't happen because it didn't get documented. So you're gonna have to trust me that I just did that. I'm so sorry. Let me scoot you, scoochy, scoochy, so you can see what I'm doing. I explained all kinds of stuff, and now I gotta re-splain. So what I'm doing, quickly, is I'm using some of the sticky back stencils. I think these happen to be Folk Art brand. If I find them, I will put them in the description box in my Amazon favorites area. And I'm going to use this one, although I have taped off the little flowers that come off of this leaf bundle. I, I don't know. It doesn't look like leaves to me. Without the flowers, it doesn't look like leaves. But I'm going to use gold paint for these. And I'm not a very good stenciler, stencilist, stencil person. And it's probably because... I put on too much paint because I don't want to have to go back and put on more paint. Ain't nobody got time for that. And you would think that stenciling is kind of a no-brainer. Well, you would think that. Sadly, it is just one of those things that I've never been all that adept at. What do you do? I'm probably overlooking the obvious. That's my strong suit, is overlooking the obvious. But the good thing about this black paint is that I can always touch up anything that doesn't get paint on it, I hope. And I used a white colored pencil to mark out my kind of center lines. Stood back and eyeballed it. Because when you're up close, you know how you sometimes you just don't, you don't center things great when you're up too close. So I figured I would do that ahead of time and and muck around with it off camera because I can obsess about things. I did not end up obsessing about this, but there's always that possibility. And I didn't want to torture you all with seeing me erase lines and redraw lines and then erase them and redraw them multiple times. And I chose just this gold paint and it is Folk Art Pure Gold. Anything that I'm using, I will put on my Amazon favorites list if it's available there. If it's not, then I am showing you so that you can go look for it if you need it, if you like how it looks. I think I got a little over exuberant. I'm gonna have to touch up the black. But I like that. I like the gold. I don't know what those are. You tell me. You tell me what those are, if you know. Ooh. And I thought I would. Maybe after I just muffed it up. Hold on. Maybe put one here ish. I am tempting fate by playing the game How Long Will the Sticky Be Sticky on the Back of the Stencil before I have to go wash it. But hopefully, I only have to do one more on the other side and then I'm going to do something else. And I might do another one of these somewhere else at the end later. But because the design is kind of still in my head, I, I don't really know exactly how it's going to look. So I figured I would wing it. Voila. Okay, now I'm going to go to the other side, but I'm not going to move because, you know, this thing's 70 pounds. I also think I want to put that stripe back around the plate. So I have a little quilter's square and I'm going to measure in using the square at an inch and then move it back to a half an inch. And then we'll take some painter's tape and connect the dots.
Now I can either cut away these connecting pieces to make a solid band around the outside, or I can leave it and it, there will be lines and then little squares at the corner. What do you think? Have a Cheeto, think about it. Okay, fine, I'll have a Cheeto. So did you think about it? Did the Jeopardy theme song go through your head? Let's try it with the squares on the corner just because it's one less step. It's a very arts and crafts era look. And I'm thinking maybe that's why they did it too, was to eliminate a step. And yes, I am using way too much paint on my brush. I will try to be more conservative about that. The gold that was on it before, it was the color gold, but it wasn't metallic. And I don't know if it started out that way or if the metallic had faded over time. I don't know, good question. I was worried if I didn't paint it, that rust could get in and start to eat away at the iron. And that would be a shame. All right, let's see if my lines are somewhat straight and even. <laughs> I could see how this could become a vicious cycle because if you mess up, then you're like, well, I got to tape it off and paint some black on it to clean up the lines. And then you mess that up. Then you have to tape it off to paint some more gold. And after a while, it's like you're just painting a whole bunch of stripes over and over and over again. I don't think that's too bad. Might be a couple of places I might want to touch up. And I'll probably have to touch up where the white pencil left a couple of little marks. But other than that, I don't think that's too big of a deal. Do you guys? I'm going to stop before this turns into a vortex of OCD. <laughs> and the next thing I'm going to do is, well, you got to be higher. What I'm going to do is I want to paint the wheel. I don't really have a whole lot of great brushes. I mixed up this color. It is a mix of phthalo green and a little bit of teal just to lighten it up because the phthalo was super, super dark, and when it dried, it basically looked black. This will take a few coats. Black is one of those colors that's very difficult to cover. It just sucks up all the light, hence it sucks up all the color. But I decided to take the chance because I do love this color a lot, and I thought it would look cool with the black and the gold. This is what it looks like now that I'm finished, finally. <laughs> I thought I was going to go simple and then 
And you're like, oh, and then it needs this, and then it needs this. And then I finally just stopped. I was like, okay, I am gilding this lily over much. I stopped. But I think it looks pretty cool. I love the turquoise kind of a color, this Mediterranean oceany color, and with the gold and the black. I think it's a nice change from just the straight black that it was. I think it gives it a little bit of character. So I hope you like that. Don't mind the sleeping cat over there in the corner. She's she's decided to take up a residence today. And you might be able to see where I added a little bit of detail to the spokes of the wheel. I guess it's not spokes. What are these? They're not spokes. Support, wheel support, I don't know. But I just took all those stencils that I had with the sticky backs and instead of using the whole stencil, I put them together with their different elements instead. Just to make it a little bit different. I've had those stencils forever and you know how sometimes you get tired of the stuff that you see over and over and over and over again? So instead, I decided just to use elements of the stencils and mix and match them together to make different looking designs instead. I wanted to tie the gold and the black up here on the wheel too and that's why I added the gold top to the bolt and then the gold, it looked like little peacock feathers almost there. And then to the little teal colored flourishes that I added to the corner, I put little gold dots just in the round dot at the end, just to kind of tie that all together. So yeah, I think it turned out pretty cool. I like the way it looks. It looks a lot better and the iron will now be protected from humidity and that kind of thing. I hope you enjoyed this project as much as I did. It was a lot of fun. I hope everybody is having a great week and I've got some plans for a fun project that will be coming up soon and also details on the summer sale that I have every year. So that will be coming up as well very soon. All right, guys, I will let you go, but I will see you really, really soon in the next video. Bye, guys.